Awenchi joins. Hi everyone, this is Noah here from OneChain, and this is a short video showing you all how to do a cross-chain transaction in the OneChain desktop light wallet. So to get started with, uh, make sure that you've downloaded the wallet and gotten it all installed and set up. Uh, and if you need any help with that, please check out exploreonechain.org and look for the wallet section on the site for instructions about uh, how to install and set up your wallet. Uh, so once you're all set up, make sure that you've got a little bit of the asset which you'd like to do a cross-chain transaction with uh, in your wallet. So um, you can see here under cross-chain, uh, the wallet comes uh, pre-installed with Bitcoin, Ethereum, and EOS cross-chain assets uh, and uh, native asset accounts already available. And if you'd like to add any others, you can go to settings, config, and uh, you can enable others here uh, and to do cross-chain transactions for any of the uh, supported WRC20 tokens, which are displayed in the settings menu here. So let's go back to the cross-chain um, here, cross-chain menu here. And uh, I'm going to be doing a cross-chain transaction with ETH, ETH today. And you can see I've got a little bit of ETH in my account already. Uh, so to get started with a cross-chain transaction to, to, to transfer this ETH to one chain based WETH over here, we get started by clicking the convert button. Okay, and it takes just a few seconds for this to load. And once it's loaded, you'll see that most of these values have been pre-populated. Uh, and uh, there's only a few of them that you can actually change. Most of them you don't really need to worry about. Uh, here, this is the address of the store man, which you will be doing your transaction with. Um, above that, it's the balance of the account, which you, which you just chose to convert with. Uh, and then here, where it says capacity and capacity left, that's the remaining capacity of the store man node. You don't need to worry about that unless it's getting low. Um, and then here too, this is uh, this is the one where you do need to select something. So this is the account that you want your cross-chain WETH or other W asset to be landing at when you send the, send it cross-chain when you do the cross-chain transaction. So uh, I'm just going to leave it at account one. And then here you can see your fee displayed both in ETH and also in one. Uh, and this would be in, uh, of course, in another asset if you're using another asset's uh, cross-chain transaction other than ETH. Um, and then finally, down here, this is the amount of ETH that I'd like to send for my cross-chain transaction. So I'm just going to choose a very small amount just for this display video. So 0 0.003. Okay, uh, and so that's how much WETH I want to get on my one chain account, and then I click next. Okay, and then I review the information here, and it all looks good. So I'm going to click send. All right, now if you scroll down here under transaction history, you can see our most recent transaction here, and if we look to the right, under status, we can see the status of our transaction. And it currently says lock request sent. So um, this is the first status and we need to wait a little bit until it moves on to the next status. Um, it could take a few minutes depending on the uh, current network conditions. Okay, so this time the wait only took about two or three minutes, um, and we're, we're still not done yet. You can see now it's in the locked status, and uh, we're going to wait a little bit until it, it goes on to the next status. Okay, so you can now see the next status has just changed to, from locked to storeman locked. And now very quickly from storm and locked to redemption request sent. 
and that took about four and a half minutes and we're still not done yet so we're just going to wait a little while longer for it to move on to the next status. You can actually see um, our transaction is show up in the balance here already but uh, it still has not yet been finalized. All right, and now it's moved on to the success status and the transaction is totally complete. And you can see our new balance here under the account I transacted to. And that's it, it's pretty simple. And if you wanna go back in the other direction from WETH to ETH, it's basically the exact same process. You just click convert here and do it the exact same way you did before, except this time from your one chain account um, to your Ethereum account, and then you'll get back your ETH back on the native uh, the native asset on the Ethereum blockchain, and that's it. So uh, and until next time, guys. We are waiting. Join us.